In my last video, I had mentioned that Sun Zhen Tsai has a potential successor to the Politburo Standing Committee, the most powerful body in China today. Naturally, I spoke too soon. Today, it was announced that the Chongqing Party Chief, the youngest man on the Politburo, and once a shoe in to the peak of political power, has been removed from his seat for a serious violation of party discipline, the CCDI code word for corruption. He has not been tried for jail or crime yet, but being removed from his political seat means that his career is basically over. Many Chinese politicians can be traced to certain factions. These factions, led by certain elders in the party, are crucial in helping politicians rise in power. Guessing what these factions, who leads them, and who belongs to them is of course an exercise in reading tea leaves. But we're all about crazy guesses and tea leaf reading, so here are a few big ones. The Princeling, son of former founders of the Communist Party. Xi Jinping, for example, is a Princeling. He is the son of former NPC Standing Committee Vice Chairman Xi Zhongshun. Another prominent Princeling is Wang Chishang, son-in-law of former Vice Premier Yao Yiling. The Tuan Pai, former members of the Communist Youth League, 87.5 million members strong. They include Hu Jintao, the last president of China, and the current premier, Li Keqiang. Jiang Zemin's camp, or the Shanghai Gang, associates with Jiang Zemin, the 90-year-old former president of China. Sun Tai, 53, is said to belong to the Jiang Zemin camp. The same had Zhou Yongkang, the now disgraced securities officer. It is interesting because it is said that the Jiang camp and the prisoners are close. The man who was replacing him, Chen Ming Er, was nominally said to be in the Jiang camp, but is now closely tied to Xi Jinping. The two have worked together before. Clearing out two high-profile members, and Zhou Yongkang, a future elder, and Sun, a rising star who could be a future rival, greatly consolidates Xi Jinping's grip on the top leadership. He has become the most powerful man in China since Deng Xiaoping, and is probably on track for three terms as president, breaking decades of precedent. Just to be fair, Chongqing has a legitimate reputation for corruption, being known for a center of criminal and gang activity. Chen Min Er is a Xi favorite, but that does not make succeeding at this job a cakewalk. The Tuan Pai is the last remaining big faction, led by Hu Jintao. For a long time, it has been immensely powerful, with a majority of members on the PSC in the last party congress. However, the faction has been hit hard by scandals, like with Ling Jinghua's son, and corruption investigations removed many of the members from power. More importantly, the Communist Youth League itself has been neutered, with recent downsizes in 2016 and its budget being halved. The Tuan Pai's foremost star and the last guy standing to Hu Chunhua, now the youngest member on the Politburo and called Little Hu, to differentiate from Hu Jintao. He is the current party secretary of Guangdong. Xi Jinping did not put him in his current seat, which should make him really, really nervous. On the other hand, Hu Jintao is still alive, and Premier Li Keqiang, a Tuan Pai member, is still in power. And Bloomberg claims that the signs have been dropping for a while for the sun, but none had such have come around for Hu. In fact, in April, Xi recently visited Guangdong and said that he fully endorsed various work in Guangdong since the 18th Party Congress, who recently gave a 100-minute speech in which he mentioned Xi Jinping 26 times, repeatedly calling him the party's core and pledging complete loyalty. So who really knows? We just gotta wait. The 19th Congress is in autumn, a few months away. Anything could happen, and all eyes will be on what Xi Jinping will do next.